Hey guys, Expert here, and today I'm bringing you a very, very special video because it is about time that I get to show you all what I actually got at Comic Con. Um, a lot of stuff was bought. Um, you know, not that many comics. I thought I'd get more comics. I did not this year. Um, that was pretty surprising. A lot of free stuff I got at the Marvel booth. Um, some signatures I got for free. Uh, waited in some pretty long lines. Um, I got one very special signature, but I think it's time that I start showing you all what I got. So without further ado, let's get on ahead with that. Alright, so starting off, I'll showcase the largest item I think I got at Comic Con, which is the Thanos Pop Funko. Now let's have the light adjust to that. So this is the Thanos Pop um, in all of its very, very large glory. It's about the size of the Hulkbuster from what I know, but I think it looks pretty incredible and it's going to be a great addition to my collection. So let's move that off to the side. Next up and final Funko that I got, I got the Yellow Jacket Funko. Um, this one was a must for me. It looks pretty awesome. Um, you might not, yep, you can see it. Uh, he has the extendable arms on the back. Um, I thought that was pretty awesome, and he was a must for me. So, Yellow Jacket has also been added to my collection of Funkos. Next up, I got some awesome Big Hero 6 stuff. Um, I got these keychains. Um, I'm not much for keyring keychain sets. But, I could not pass this up. I love Baymax. Baymax is amazing. Um, these also make great gifts. So, I plan on giving one of them away to a friend of mine. Um, but, I could not walk away from that booth without it. Um, in terms of autographs, uh, I met Charles Martinet. And I got this signature. Uh, pretty awesome meeting him. If you have seen my Comic-Con experience video, you would most likely see him signing this, um, but I just thought I would show it again. So, Charles Martinet. Uh, next up, some free stuff I got at the Marvel booth. So, this was a custom edition Avengers cover. Uh, you see the Avengers fighting in the background as Iron Man is tinkering. Uh, the Avengers need you. Uh, this is a comic series based on the events of Age of Ultron, so that's that in terms of free stuff. Um, I got this Star Wars Con number one from the Marvel booth as well. That opens up, and I'll just give you a look. It just shows all their upcoming Star Wars stuff. Uh, Princess Leia number three, Darth Vader number four. And on the back, Star Wars number four. Another freebie was the all new, all different Avengers from the Marvel booth. I did not actually have this, so it was a great pickup. Um, you have Lady Thor, Falcon, Iron Man, Vision, Miss Marvel, Miles Morales, Spider Man, and Nova. So, pretty interesting. Uh, I got another Star Wars freebie, a large, larger comic book cover version poster form, uh, welcoming Star Wars home to Marvel Comics, and on the back more, more comic news stuff about releases. Still on terms of freebies, I picked up this Marvel Invincible Iron Man and the all new, all different free previews. I believe there were other comics in here as well. Um, these were all covers. So like the Spider-Gwen covers in here. Uh, the Drax cover. Now the these are all for their upcoming series in uh, oct being released in October. Here's oct all new. Here's like Deadpool number one. Um, that's going to be interesting. 
the Deadpool float, Macy's Day Parade. Um, but yeah, so this is their preview comic for all their new upcoming covers. Uh, here is the ESPN edition, custom. Uh, this is the body issue. I haven't looked through this yet. I don't know what it has to offer, but it has the Hulk on it, so pretty cool. Um, and then this Secret Wars Scotty Young mini poster was also a freebie. Anything Scotty Young is pretty amazing. And that leads me to my next session of, or my next showcase of stuff I got autographed. Um, here is a Scotty Young Civil War variant. Um, let's see. Iron Man and Cap are talking about the government. Uh, but signed by Scotty Young himself. So if you, again, if you've seen the video I posted about the experience, you can actually see Scotty Young signing these himself. Um, and then here is the Daredevil one I got signed by him. Right there. And then on the back I got him to actually sign one of the Secret Wars freebies. So that was pretty fun getting to meet him. It may have been brief, but it was pretty awesome. Uh, I also bought X-Men 92. Um, I love this cover, actually. Um, with the hints of color. Just something different. Something you don't normally see. Uh, another freebie. I got Star Wars Lando Custom Edition number 1. I did not buy the Scotty Young Edition. Um... It was slightly overpriced. People were selling for 15 bucks. Um, and I wasn't willing to drop that much. Um, next up, I got a Doctor Who comic from Titan Entertainment featuring the ninth Doctor, um, who was very underrated. Um, I, I kind of like the ninth Doctor. I, I like 10 more, uh, but nine, 9 was pretty good. So I got this to add to my collection of 10 and 11, but I did not pick up uh, the 12th Doctor variant. Finally, in terms of... Oh, not finally. Whoops. I also got this one from Titan Entertainment. The Blacklist comic book. Um, everything James Spader is pretty awesome. Uh, as you obviously know, he was Ultron, or the voice of Ultron. I like this little thing they put here. They put the Comic-Con badge as an actual item in the cover. Um, pretty gory book, comic book. Uh, but very, very realistic looking in terms of the TV show. Uh, another thing I got, which excites the hell out of me, Invader Zim. So Invader Zim is back. Let me angle it here so you see the title Invader Zim. But Invader Zim is back. Uh, they had a special variant at Comic-Con. It's been so long, but it's so good to have it back. Uh, some more Secret World, uh, Battle World stuff from Marvel, a giant map of continent stuff. Not sure what it represents. I didn't follow Battle World. Um, I picked up this uh, version of Com Comic Con uh, Entertainment Weekly featuring Deadpool. This was a must. Thanks to Jeff Chin for getting that to me. Uh, I got this Ant-Man preview comic from Marvel. Again, free stuff. And the number one thing I think I got from my collection at Comic-Con was my Rob Liefeld signed copy of X-Force number two featuring the return of Deadpool. Um, it was an honor to meet Rob Liefeld, um, shake his hand. It was an, when he said I resembled Star-Lord, I wanted to pass out, like, I look up to that guy, and for him to say something like that blew me away. Um, moving on to the final items, I got this Archer poster. Because uh, who doesn't like Archer? And these were all free, by the way. Um, I got this Agent Carter poster. So here it is. 
just just says Asian Carter. No, um, featuring uh, Jarvis and Peggy Carter in Hollywood. Um, as you may or may not have heard, uh, the writers announced that in season two, Peggy Carter will be moving to California to solve some sort of a case. Uh, and final poster is my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3 poster. So, Colson, May, Simmons, Fitz, Sky, Mac, Lincoln, Mockingjay. Everyone's here. Everyone is here. Ward's even here. Right there. Look at Ward. And Lola. Lola is back. I can't tell if that's Lola, but there's a red car that's back. Hopefully it is Lola. Colson's favorite car. Um, but yeah. So that concludes everything I got at Comic-Con. Um, of course, there's the giant bag I got. It has, uh, Gotham on the back of it. So that's pretty interesting. Um, not that much, though. I did not... Last year, I splurged. This year, I think I held it to a minimum. So that's good. It's always good on my wallet. Uh, don't want to overpay for stuff that I know I can probably get for cheaper later. Uh, but the Funkos were all great deals. Like that Thanos Funko I got for 15 bucks. I, I've seen that going for 20 outside at normal retailers. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got at Comic-Con. Um, I'm glad to add it to the collection. Got to catalog those comic books. And I am finally going to open up my Funkos coming up soon. So I'll do a giant video of all that happening. Um, so I got the Hulkbuster Vision. Ant-Man, Yellow Jacket, and Thanos. I don't know if I'll get another one before I do this video. Not 100% sure, but it's looking like that's what's well, going to be the lineup for that, that video. So stay on the lookout for that. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and or subscribing for more con content in the future. Every subscriber and every like helps me out a lot. So, as I always say, expert. Or Zach, out.